Exercise. Uh, <laughs> um. Oh my God. Okay, let me just redo this. Now, with that being said, oh my God. Did you stop? Wait, did you stop filming? Did you still filming? What is wrong with me, man? What? Experience any of these side effects, such as, you know, I, why, if I'm linking the video, I don't need to talk about it here. Here comes the, here comes the, here comes the, y'all don't really worry it like that. Guys, what's up? A lot of people give a lot of hate for arms, especially as powerlifters. Heard a lot of stupid stuff regarding them, and people saying they shouldn't even have a place in your routine. I think that's pretty stupid myself, because to come in today and do something like this refreshes me mentally, kind of makes me remember what I like doing. I also really like getting a pump, more than just lifting heavy, beating myself up every time. It's a really nice refresher. Get a really work on contractions, just feel good. Something to do. Don't be scared of arm days, they're really good. I do them as rest days sometimes, so, little tip. So I've actually never tried this exercise before. It's kind of like a reverse hammer girl. It's hammer curl. It's a good like leeway to warming up your biceps. So it's just fun to try new things in the gym. Sometimes the exercise is a bit old, but it's kind of funky. Why does it warm up your biceps, bro? People are gonna already ask that. I already know. Why? Yeah. Because on the way up. That's slow negative, eh? Yeah. You're still killing them tries. <sighs> so. I usually eat a good sized block of cheese. I've already mapped through it about this much after every workout. People look at me like I'm some kind of sadist because I'm mowing down on 40 grams of fat right after. I wanna bite into a big hunk of cheese. Just bite into it like it's an apple. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> You'd ask why would you eat such a thing, Josh? But this stuff is lactose free Allegro cheese. We have this in pretty much every Canadian market thing store. Let me get you the macros. All right, so per 90 grams, which is a good size block, 180 calories, now here's the kicker, three fat, three fat, six carbs, 33 protein. <laughs> so instead of gnawing down a protein shake with some hot water that I don't really feel like having, have this cheese, that's how you do it. All right guys, so we just wrapped up triceps. Decided to end early, we just filmed two really good videos for you. Not sure if they're out yet. If they are not, they are called, we'll stop here so Kyle doesn't flip over a bench that's right there. Uh, so the two videos we just filmed, we filmed one top five nutritional myths and we filmed the top five uh, supplements for natural lifters. They're really good, they're science based. I think you'll really enjoy them. So we had to split it up there, then we're gonna go over to the MAC, do the rest of our bicep workout, hit some bench, we like to split it up. If you guys don't have time, you can always do that. You don't always have to go, in one block. Obviously it's less convenient, but it works out for us today. So we're gonna do that, get some coffee. It's gonna be a sick day. so much did you keep the packaging on it are you kidding me it's just so good bro thanks right now we are having this freshly squeezed strawberry and banana one of our go-to's on a refeed just tastes amazing premium juice and we love it what are we getting now now we're gonna get some water and then some coffee and then hit the grind water Good morning's pleasure. What are we up to now? Um, 
We're just chilling, getting a bit of work done, then we're gonna go grab another coffee because it's much needed, and then hit some biceps. So I'm super pumped for that. What happened to your eye? I don't know. Is it the filming or <laughs> is it like cut off? You guys are probably wondering why I have my shirt off. I don't really know, I just took it off. But anyways, we just got finished filming our supplement talk video. And, oh man, like I, everything I was saying, it would just come out like gibberish. So Josh like did most of the talk and I did a lot of the filming, but you know, there's just those days where you just cannot put something together or where like you're on camera and kind of getting messed up with your words. And I just want to give a message out for you guys who are trying to make videos or trying to put a message out across that sometimes it doesn't happen in the first take, sometimes you mess up. It's all a process, but I can honestly say my um, appreciation, sorry, not my appreciation, but my communication skills just with everybody in my everyday life and like just from talking to you guys has improved so much. So I just want to pass that message Even along. Even break, break out of your comfort zone. Yeah, no, it, it has definitely helped my confidence, but I just want to pass that message on to you guys for who, if you're trying to film videos or you feel uncomfortable in public, like, you just got to get out there and do it and have fun with it. Like, it's not going to go perfect the first time, but just got to make it fun. On a side note, there's some great uh, lighting. You're looking shredded there, pal. Am I? What's going on guys, we got 30 minutes in the gym, we're hitting some biceps, we're gonna show you a ton of different bicep exercise variations that you guys can do to really crush those biceps, let's go. Eight standing dumbbell bicep variations and we are kicking it off with none other than the alternating dumbbell curl. You guys wanna make sure you're doing a full range of motion with any of these exercises shown. So here we see Josh doing the dumbbell bicep curl. So basically the only difference is he's going to be doing two arms um, at a time. So he generally will be able to use less weight. A side note, he is gonna be twisting his arm outward at the very top of the moment, which is gonna engage the biceps a bit more. On to the next exercise, we have the hammer curl. This has to be one of my favorites, mainly because I find I can just go so much heavier with it and because it really adds a lot of thickness to your biceps. Um, now for this workout, we literally only had a set of dumbbells. We didn't have any benches or anything and we had a very limited amount of time and we made sure to do at least two sets of each of these eight exercises and the pump was unreal. This is the Colossus Curl. We really didn't know what to call it, but it is awesome and you guys will feel a nice contraction. Make sure you do them nice and controlled and you're not swaying or moving too much and you see Josh is performing a nice full range of motion within this exercise. Alrighty, the Zotman Curl. Now this is something that I find very underrated. We actually have made a full video on it, which I'll have in the top right corner in a card um, explaining how to do it. But the Zotman Curl is awesome because it really gives you a way to activate your forearms as well as your biceps, especially if you're short on time like us and you don't want to do any direct forearm work, which we do do, but it's just an example for you guys to incorporate into your routine. Here we have the standing dumbbell reverse curl that I was just talking about. Now, typically people will do something like this with a bar, but like I said, we weren't using any bars today. We literally just said, you know what? Dumbbells, we're gonna grab a set of 35s and we're gonna do everything with it and see what we can do. Get a nice pump and get in there and get out. So this is awesome for your forearms as well as your biceps. And then the cross body hammer curl. This is something I don't see too often, but um, when I'm doing a burnout on any of my sets like on a, on a typical day I'll do a hammer curl and then I'll start and then I'll start doing these cross body hammer curls as like a nice burnout because you can really fire up a lot more um, and it doesn't take too much out of you but it still gets the blood flowing through your muscles last but not least we are going to finish with the standing concentration curl now this is my go-to for any arm workout I always finish off with it because you can get a nice slow and controlled contraction within this exercise I really hope you guys enjoyed this video um, please give it a thumbs up it'll help the channel grow share it with a friend if you learned a thing or two and stay tuned for the next summer flex episode we'll see you later guys peace